Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out looking for giant snook. I'm talking about snook over 40 inches. What do you need for big snook? Hopefully big bait. I've got three giant ladyfish. I'm gonna throw out live bait them under a float and see if I can get a giant snook. So basically what I've done is I've just come out to a place that is a mud flat and this mud holds a lot of heat in the winter when especially our, our subtropical fish are looking for thermal refuge, mud flats over grass flats, or snook especially, because they really don't like the cold. Huge wake moving towards my bait. It's gotta be a shark. It's gotta be a shark. Oh my God, look at this shark circling my... Okay, I think he's coming back. They're about to intersect again. Oh, nuggets. Bull sharks. What gave out there? Oh no, he rubbed it. Cut through the braid. Oh, something just ate it. Well, something just ate it. Bobber's down. Oh, I got something. Got there. Oh, it's shaking like a shark. Oh man. What in the world is it? What in the world is this? I see my ladyfish. Oh, it let go. Okay. Okay, I've got to go. Something just ate my ladyfish. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't know where this thing went, but now the question is, is it a shark? Well, now I'm gonna, damn, my, my bobber's down, I believe. I got something. Or do I, no, shoot. Are you kidding me? That's a big ladyfish. I think it's still alive. Dang it. <sighs> well, it just got swallowed again, I think. I honestly have no idea what this is, but it's not big enough to take the ladyfish, I guess. It, I mean, a big snook is gonna have a hard time keeping that. All right, give him time, give him time. This might be a big snook. It really might be a big snack. I just want to give him time. Get that hook. Come on. I honestly have no idea. Float is down. I could just cut everything. All right, I think I got something. Oh no! There's only half a ladyfish left. I'm thinking. <laughs> so I think it's something is either that ladyfish is still alive or it's a shark. <sighs> Man, I just got. And he took it. No. Like, what is. Dang it! <laughs> well, I'm feeding sharks over here. This is a smaller guy. We'll see if he got the hook. Oh. 
What in the hell? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh my god! <laughs> it's it is the largest catfish. And there's my ladyfish. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh man, this catfish ate a foot long mullet. Look at the size of this guy. Oh my God. <laughs> a giant. Oh. It's a cobia. All right, let's get him released quickly, quickly. And that's pretty much it for my ladyfish. <sighs> All right, bud. All right, and he's a big guy. His barbs are going to sting. Let me get this hook out from you. <sighs> wow. Trying to get around that bend. Good Lord. God, I don't know why. I had a sneaking suspicion that a there's going to be a huge catfish in here. That <sighs> all righty, let's uh, let's go throw some top waters. Oh, oh, oh my God. That just, that was a hard hit. Oh, he's, he's, something's still on it. I got one. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, man, that had a lot of weight to it. Oh. There's no way he's going to hit another one. Oh, darn it. I had some weight to it. You better be hungry if you want. Oh, someone's after it, I think. Yep. Oh. Oh, geez, I can't believe that. I can't believe I got him back. I got him to come back. Come on, stay on. Don't be a shark. Oh, it's a big red fish. Oh my gosh, it is a red. Oh, it's a big red. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's not as big as I thought, but he's not. He's nice. Let's see this guy. Holy cow. Man. There's lots of sharks in here, bud. I'm, I'm doing a fantastic job netting. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Nice, 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 nice. You are not what I was expecting. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. All right. Just going uh, 25 inch red. Not too bad. Let me get a good grip of this guy's tail. Swam off. Oh, man, I was hoping I was a big, big snook, but I'll take that. I love catching redfish on top water. I should have known. I saw the wake behind it. Redfish, they give off a pretty good wake when they're chasing topwaters because their mouth's on the bottom. So, yep, this is what I'm using. Just switched over after I ran out of ladyfish, but it's a uh, Berkeley Jaywalker 120 topwater. It's probably one of my favorites just because it's kind of easy to walk. It doesn't take a lot of focus, and I like that. <laughs> I assumed a lot of these hits I was getting were from snook, but... Now I'm thinking, man, maybe they were, they were all redfish. It's not a bad thing. I continued throwing topwaters for the rest of the night, but 
the setting sun quickly pushed me off the water. The Florida backcountry is not a place you want to get caught after dark, especially on low tide. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone enjoys their next time out on the water. I'll see you later. Thank you.